is the Lord, and mighty in power is understanding is infinite. Great is the Lord. Incredible. God is powerful, infinitely powerful. He made all the stars, the sun, and moon. Great big galaxies, a universe of mysteries. He can do what no one else can do. Great is the Lord, and mighty in power, His understanding is infinite. Great is the Lord. God's incomprehensible, His strength is inconceivable. He made things that no one else can see. Tiny, tiny molecules and stars and planets far from you. The God who made it all created me. Great is the Lord and mighty in power. His understanding is infinite. Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, then there's Deuteronomy. Do, do, do. Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra and Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs. Do, do, do. Keep it going. Ecclesiastes and the Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, <laughs> Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum. <laughs> Habakkuk and Zephaniah, Haggai and Zechariah, don't forget good old Malachi. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. It's what it took, forgot to get his message to us. He wrote it out, so there is no doubt, he didn't want to leave us clueless. God put it all together, he gave us all a perfect book. First and second, Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, first and second Thessalonians, first and second Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, first and second Peter, first and second third John, Jude, and Revelation, that's what's in God's perfect book. All right, to the book of books! The book of books is what it does. We got to get his message to us. We got to it up, there is no doubt. No, God put it all together. He gave us all. Gave us all. God put it all together. He gave us all. Gave us all. God put it all together. And gave us all. A perfect book. Well, welcome back, clubbers. It's good to have you back. Um, tonight, we're going to discuss God is Love and 1.4 in our handbooks. So let's get on with it, because we've got a lot to cover. 
First of all, do you know that God loves you? I know he does, and we're going to talk about that right now. So, God is love. His love is perfect and amazing because he sent his son to die for us and take our punishment, even though we were sinners and enemies of God. This week's memory verse is from Ephesians 2, 4 through 5. Ephesians 2, 4 through 5. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ. Even when we were dead in transgressions, it is by grace you have been saved. Ephesians 2, 4 through 5. So in our memory verse, there's three words that kind of jump out, and I have some definitions I want to go over. Because you might know two of them, but maybe one might be new to you. And in Ephesians, it talked about mercy. Do you remember what mercy is? That's the kindness that somebody shows someone that doesn't deserve it, correct? So in your memory verse, there are three words, and they are mercy, transgressions, and grace. Let's talk about mercy first. That's when someone shows kindness to someone who deserves punishment. And the other one that you're probably a little bit more familiar with is grace. And that is giving someone something good that they don't he or she doesn't deserve. But the new one that the one that might be new for you is transgressions, and that is another word for sin. And that's in your memory verse uh, this week. So loving another person means doing what's best for them, even if it sometimes means that we don't get the best for ourselves. And it is much easier to, to love people we know and like and who love us too. It is much harder to love people um, that we don't know are people who are bad or mean. Um, God's love is much stronger and better than ours. So I have three scenarios, and I want you to just write the number one, two, or three on a piece of paper real quick. And I want to give you three scenarios, and you tell me which one, um, which person... Um, did the most loving. Okay, so this is the first scenario. Tamika spent several weeks planning a special surprise birthday party for her best friend. She made the invitations, uh, bought decorations, and even got a special gift for her friend. And on the day of her party, her friend was surprised and happy. So that's the first scenario. This is the second. So then there's Marcus. Marcus is the meanest bully at school, and he makes fun of everyone. One day, he tripped Caleb, but then in gym class, Caleb saw Marcus sitting on a bench, and Caleb brought Marcus a cup of water. Oh. So how about scenario number three? Scenario number three is, Emma was swinging at the playground, and a friend asked her if she could have a turn. After a few minutes, Emma got off in the, of the swing and let her friend have a turn. So out of those three scenarios, who do you think showed the most love? Well, we do know that people show love in different ways. Um, do you know where love comes from? Well, it comes from God. And how did God show his love for us? Well, he sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. We do know that it's easier to show love to somebody that we know. So the first scenario, when uh, Tamika had some, made up the surprise birthday party for her friend, that wasn't hard for her. She probably spent a lot of time in getting it all together and maybe, um, uh, you know, maybe she saved up for allowance to buy a present and the other things that she needed for her party, but that probably wasn't hard, even though she was showing her friend love. But how about in the second scenario when Caleb was showing Marcus love after he had bullied him and was giving him a drink of water? Do you think that was easy? Probably not, but I have a feeling Caleb was trying to show Marcus that he still cared about him no matter if he was the bully or not. And then we had the third scenario. So Emma was swinging on the swing set and her friend asked, hey, can I have a turn? Well, after a few minutes, she got off and she let her friend have a turn. Well, 
that's showing love too because she knows that taking turns is caring about another person to be able to do the same thing that you're doing and let them have a shot at it. But do you think that was really hard? No, but it did show love. So there's a lot of different ways that we can show love to different people. But again, it's easier to show love to people that we know and that we know love us. But sometimes it's more difficult to show other people that we don't know or that are mean or um, that we just haven't, that we just don't know well enough to love them. But guess what? God loved us even when we were enemies of him. So we have to do what God does, right? Or be like God. So God created us so he could love us and, and we could love him. But because God is holy and just, our sins keep us from having a relationship with him. In fact, the Bible says that we are enemies of God until we have accepted Jesus as our Savior. Our only hope was for a sinless person to die and take the punishment um, that we deserve. And God showed us love and grace by sending his sinless son, Jesus Christ, to die and take the punishment for our sins. And this is, there is no greater love that God could have shown his love than to send his son to die for us. If we trust that Jesus is our Savior, we can have a relationship with God. And just to remember, this week's memory verse is... Ephesians 2, 4 through 5. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ. Even when we were dead in transgressions, it is by grace you have been saved. Ephesians 2, 4 through 5. So we need to remember that our amazing God loves us and he wants us to love others. He also wants us to love others that you might not feel like they deserve your love. But he showed his love first to us. And so we need to do what he asks us to do. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a word and I would like you to find a piece of paper and try to unscramble it. There's gonna be three words, and let's see if you can figure out this first one. And while you're figuring out that, let's talk about it. So, God is love, and he created us to have a loving relationship with him. Our sin keeps us from having a loving relationship with God. But the good news is, God showed us this. So if you guessed love, you are correct. The next word I'm gonna show you, that's all scrambled up. I want you to take a look at this and see if you can unscramble it. And we'll talk about it. We deserve punishment for our sin, but instead God showed us kindness or the other word that you're going to unscramble. And God's love is strong and amazing and he loved us and did what was best for us even though we did nothing to deserve his love. And that's what Ephesians 2, 4 through 5 says, which is your memory verse for the week. Ephesians 2, 4 through 5. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ. Even when we were dead in transgressions, it is by grace you have been saved. Ephesians 2, 4 through 5. So did you figure out what the second word that needed to be unscrambled was? You guessed it, it was mercy. Can you go ahead and look at this third word? It's a little bit longer. See if you can unscramble this while I talk about it. So when we remember how much God loves us, we can learn to love others. We learn to love others by following God's blank of love. That's the word for this that you're trying to unscramble. Loving others means we will choose to do what is best for them, even if it means that we will not get the best for ourselves. So, have you figured out what the word is? If you got example, being an example of God's love, the example was the word. So God is love, and God created us for a love relationship with him, but our sin keeps us from having that relationship. He loved us even when we were sinners. So remember, in Romans 5, 8, it tells us that, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And another way that God showed his love is he sent Jesus. 
Someone who was perfect and sinless had to take the punishment for our sins in order for us to have a relationship with God. And God showed us how much he loved us by sending his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. And in 1 John chapter 4, 9-10, through 10, it tells us that this is how God showed his love amongst, uh, among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. And God's love is amazing. God's love is much stronger and more amazing than our love. He loved us and did what was best for us, even though we did nothing to deserve his love. And that reminds us with our memory verse, Ephesians 2, 4 through 5, which is... Ephesians 2, 4 through 5. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ. Even when we were dead in transgressions, it is by grace you have been saved. Ephesians 2, 4 through 5. When we remember how much God loves us, then we can remember how to love others, even when it's hard. So in 1 John uh, chapter 4, 7-8, through 8, it reminds us, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God, and everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. So we want to be like God. All right, now that we know that God loves us, and that we should love others. Uh, just a quick reminder that this coming week is going to be Veterans Day. This year it's on Wednesday, November 11th. And um, try to think uh, who you know that might be a veteran or serving in the military and give them a card or a thank you and remind them how much that you appreciate their service. Don't forget to do your pray and go also. Um, this week, Asmita, um, she is talking about how she has um, learned Bible verses that remind her how much God loves her. And in that way, she knows how to love others and to share the good news that God loves them too. All right. And another reminder, next week is return your Operation Christmas Child shoebox. If you filled one up with lots of good stuff, bring it by the church so that they can send it to children all across the world. So let's go ahead and end in prayer, and you can get busy on your handbooks. Dear God, thank you for loving us so much, and thank you for showing us in the Bible how to love like you love. Help us love others, even when it's hard, because we know sometimes it's just so much easier when to love others when we know that they love us back. But we know that you loved us even when we were enemies, and you love us so much that you sent your son Jesus to die on a cross so that we can believe in him and have eternal life with you in heaven. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.